Welcome to Drawfee, where we take your dumb ideas and make even dumber drawings. I'm Jacob. I'm Julia. I'm Nathan. And I'm Karina. And did y'all hear? Slow food is done. Oh, <laughs> uh, like you were slow cooking and it's done? Do you need to go? We're recording an episode. You can't do that anymore. All you can do now is get fast food. Fast food is the future. It's the new way. It's the new light. Because... We redesigned the fast food mascots for a new generation. So wait, so slow foods are done because we draw fee redesigned fast food mascots? Yeah, it's a time loop. All fast foods came to us and said, our brands are really struggling. We tried some stuff on social media. It didn't go well. We made some cool tweets and no one likes them. <laughs> But yeah, that's all oh, no. fixed now because of our good redesigns we did for this episode called Fast Food Mascot Redesigns is a speed draw. Oh, it's, no, Jacob, excuse you? It's a fast draw. It's a fast draw. <laughs> Slow draw is over. Slow draw is yeah. over. Uh, we each picked a fast food mascot, and as you can guess, we redesigned them. And we're going to see the ones we did starting with Nathan. Yay. Woo. Nathan, what'd you do? Tell us about it. I chose the sponge monkeys from the uh, the Quiznos Is that what they campaign. Were? Sponge? Is that what they're called? Why did I call them sea monkeys? I called them rodents. I called them the Quiznos rats. You know, <laughs> demons, rats. I, they're, I Googled them. They're called sponge monkeys. I didn't realize that they were like originally just designed by like an animator for his own channel and then i guess quiznos was like hey can you yeah, have them sing about huge. sandwiches they cuz they sung we like the moon cuz it is close to us and then they changed it to we like the sub decades ahead yeah <laughs> on this internet bullshit it was a it was an impossible challenge because their designs are already perfect. Yeah, so. and that's why they're the strongest fast food brand on yeah. the planet. Yeah, yeah it works. And we for them. all know what they are. Yeah, <laughs> it kind of it kind of just turned into a, a fan art challenge, but you'll see. All right, let's get into it. You'll see. Okay, we'll see. Three, two, one, go. So typically with uh, speed draws, oh I um. I, I like edit out the uh, the ideating process and just sort of do the whole thing. But since this was like a redesign challenge, I, I figured I'd include my whole ideation process, which began with just sort of me trying to draw as close of a <laughs> approximation of, of them. And then I tried, you know, some God. some different some different styles. Wow. Of, uh, this is good. I love this. You know, just just ideating. This is yeah. some ideation process. This is some like Ren and Stimpy feeling stuff. Yeah, a little bit. Oh, that's a little that's a little zimmy. Yeah. I like it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> oh my god. Oh, oh. We got to get this style in there for for the the, the new generation, but I that one was my favorite. <laughs> and then I was like, "Wait, what if I did that like <laughs> Crazy anime eyes. <laughs> <laughs> we like the sub. So I spent I spent a lot of time on this one uh, that I don't end up using, but it is kind of fun. I love this one. I know exactly which face this is. <laughs> yeah, it's that face. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, this is so threatening. That's how I want my my food to make me feel yeah, threatened. It's a little yeah. a little too threatening. I ended up going with that sort of uh that one. Good shape. And now I'm I'm wow. po yes. posing them out. It's like cuz they sing, so I figured I'd give them a microphone. Yes. Oh, this is Nathan, so Hey, this is so fun. Yeah. This is the comic book that got like a special release. You know, if you go to a Quiznos <laughs> during the month of whatever, you got the the comic book of these two guys' adventure. Yeah, totally. Yeah. I'm I'm imagining, you know, like the the way the reason these commercials were so effective is because they were memorable. So I was yeah. like, what would be just like something you'd see at the start of a YouTube video that would you maybe be like, okay, I'll watch I won't I won't click skip ad because I'm I'm intrigued. So I I kept it pretty close to the base designs, but made it more sort of animated. 
And I also, I think I, I think it's actually like supposed to be a hole in the middle of the hat, but I read it as like a something draped over it. So that's redesign. Yeah. Me, me misreading the costume is redesign. <laughs> it wasn't the most clear original design, so. Yeah. Yeah, you can do whatever you want. Yeah, I gave yeah. them more sort of form. <laughs> God. <The> sandwiches. <laughs> yeah, you'll see I, I give up on the sandwiches background. I was like, I don't want to draw that many sandwiches. It's a fun <laughs> idea, though. Yeah. We we know it's it's the thought that counts. Yeah, it's in our brains. It's my favorite thing about doing drawfee with speed draws is that we can show that we had good ideas <laughs> to people <laughs> yeah. at some point and be like, yeah, but I I didn't want to execute on it. But you can see that I thought of it. I thought about it. I thought a little about it. Um, <laughs> Joel Veach is the name of the the animator who who came up with with these guys. So shout out to him. Yay. He made I mean, it was memorable, iconic, yeah. iconic friends. But this it, rat looks like it stole that hat from Captain Crunch. Yeah, and I love that idea. Is that what happened, Nathan? Uh, it, it's you know there, there's a lot of uh, fan speculation as to where uh, <laughs> they got their hat from, and I I like to leave it open ended because that. You know, that's just that's just all internet engagement. And I think what's fun about redesigning these guys, no no matter what opinion people have of the redesign, um it's going it, to it's going to get people talking. Like there're going to be people who are like, "Why did they redesign them? They were perfect the way they were." And it's like, that's that's just more people talking about them, more people talking about Yeah. about sandwiches. These subs, I, I put them on the moon, uh, uh, homage to the original track that they love the moon. Heck yeah. This line art is so good, by yeah. the way. Yeah, it is. Thank you. It's really energetic. It's also grossing me out. The mouths are so good and also so gross. Yeah, you did a great I job. Did, I toned down the amount of gum showing for the drawing. <laughs> yeah. There's much more gum showing. Uh, don't be shy. In the original... <laughs> It's just so good. It's they're like they're they're bouncing. They're like different parts of them are are wiggling and expanding and contracting. <laughs> so, is that that oil rich? Yeah, yeah. This is this is right. Uh, I I really like the way Jacob rendered his uh, McCavity, and that episode's out at this point. At the time this episode comes out, so I asked <laughs> Jacob what that. Uh, what that was. I also did a bunch of splatter brushes because I've been watching the um, oh. the like that newish Mickey Mouse. Mm-hmm. Oh yeah. Oh. yeah, and I love I love the amount of splatter brush they use in the backgrounds of so that much texture. The Mickey Mouse cartoons on YouTube are so good, <laughs> but I didn't. I ended up not liking the the texture uh, brush for the for the shading. I went with a, a more solid. Yeah, brush for that. I think it makes them pop. Yeah, trying to make them pop, trying to make them stand out. I re- this this background, I really just sort of was just sort of trying some stuff with. Hey, that's fine. Because again, I want I wanted to imagine like this is what you see <laughs> oh, in like yeah. the five wow. five seconds before a YouTube video starts. <laughs> is it is it catchy enough to make you stay? Yes. And yes. look and, and see what's going on. You couldn't get me to leave at this point. You'd have to drag me out. I live here now. <laughs> Getting screamed at by these horrible creatures. <laughs> They're perfect. They're perfect in every way, and I love them. This is so good. Wow. You did a really genuinely good job of making Thank me like you. these yeah. terrible rats. They're the best. <laughs> and the worst. They're the best. They're the worst. They they're... were ahead of their time. <laughs> uh huh. They just they make you feel. Yeah, they, they do make that. me feel. <laughs> they do that. Uh, I think that's it. Wow. They love the moon. They're coming. They're coming to find the sandwiches. The sandwiches are. They wouldn't leave the sandwiches behind. They're like they're facing the sandwiches. So yeah. maybe the sandwiches are in the next shot. Yeah. <laughs> this is where they've been since the ad campaign. They've been on the moon. And yeah. They're <laughs> returning. <laughs> A lot of people uh, credit this ad campaign with uh, the fact that Subway now toasts their sandwiches. So you know, <laughs> wow. you have you have these guys to thank. 
Wow. Wow. I can't get over these very good faces. I just keep looking at them. They're so yeah. good. And also the gnarly fingernail. Yeah. Nathan, this is great. Yeah. Thank you. Good job, Nathan. It's I had fun with this one. It's nasty. I love it. I hate it. <laughs> it's nasty, but it's also joyful. Yeah. yeah. And that, that's what I think is, is so powerful about them is they manage to be both gross and unsettling, but also... They're just happy to be there. That's just how they look. Just like Quiznos. They hit just that. like Quiznos. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I'm gonna go next. Okay, what you I do? I did one. Um, I did the Taco Bell dog. Oh. Uh, who has not been around for quite some time. He is dead. Yes. Um, and I, I actually did some. I, it ended up going in a direction that was very different than what I had anticipated when I set out to do it. Oh. Interesting. Okay. Uh, yeah, so I will get right into it. Three, two, one, go. The Taco Bell dog <laughs> uh, actually was a female dog. Oh. Uh, ah. Named Gidget. And I was looking up info on the Taco Bell dog and did the math. Gidget would have been 27 this year oh uh, wow if she was still alive and that just got me thinking down the path of like sort of a bojack horseman like storyline oh. like gidget grew up <laughs> felt a lot of shame for being sort of like a racist stereotype dog mascot mm -hmm. like a, a, ma a male <laughs> racist stereotype mascot yeah. And and now, you know, in 2021, she's like sort of a, a social media, uh, social justice-y type of person trying oh. to, who, who goes after the, the bad ad campaigns and companies. Wow. And tries to make right these situations based on her past. So is she a mascot now or is she... I'm thinking she's she's not a mascot. This is like a Netflix show based on <laughs> the Taco Bell mascot. It is still sponsored by Taco Bell yes. and has a lot of yeah. Taco Bell product <laughs> placement. Yes. Like they did they did weasel their way into it. <laughs> this is the new marketing. Yeah, they, it's like very self-aware, hyper-aware mm -hmm. marketing. Mm -hmm. I mean, with the way brands <laughs> act on social media these days. It, this is coming, you know. We're, yeah, <laughs> it's it's they're they're thinking outside the bun for sure. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, they're they're acting all woke. They're starting a show about you know how how good they are now. Please don't look at our past. Please, for the love of God, don't look at our past or really our present. But yeah, just enjoy these these boxes of um, food? Question mark. <laughs> yeah, and they would be like, "This is what the kids like these days, right? They want like a uh, a hot, tired animal person." Mm -hmm. And the answer yes. is, "Yeah, yeah, <laughs> that's correct. That is what we want. <laughs> we love it. We love it. And and you got us. You got us, Taco Bell. <laughs> we have to go in and eat the tacos now. Uh, so I do kind of like Nathan. I do. I don't do any iterating on this, obviously, since I'm already on the inking phase." But I do do a lot of sort of experimentation with the lines and the colors and stuff like that. That's what brush? Fun. What brush? This this ink brush? Oh, that's a yeah. Good this question. is very good. It's it's, cool it's one of the first ones in like the Kyle ink box pack. Wow. It's like the amazing cartoon inker number two or something like that. Oh, sure. Uh, it's one of the ones right up there. I just like it. Nice and toothy. It's very brushy. It's got a lot of variation. Yeah. And it's very, very toothsome. So good. Every time your line art. Mm -hmm. Yeah. We, we love the lines. The way you've drawn these, uh, these paws is, is reminding me of the, um, the lackadaisy. Uh, oh, the way yeah. They draw the, the paws on there. Maybe there was some subconscious inspo there. <laughs> yeah. I just started drawing, like I had intended just to like start drawing some ideas for what I wanted the dog to look like. And then I drew the head and I was like, uh-oh, I like it. Uh-oh, got it one. <laughs> I just want to keep drawing now because I'm having fun. Yeah. And so I kept drawing because I was having fun. Uh, then I wanted the, the Taco Bell color palette. Oh, sure. Um, so you'll see me bringing that in. Uh, I wanted to kind of stick to the pinks and blues. Mm -hmm. oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. It's yeah. like a, a naked chihuahua. 
<laughs> Those it's, furless it's chihuahuas. It's not a naked ch- chihuahua. <laughs> She's bald. <laughs> she just has a limited color palette. <laughs> Julia, I'm very mad at you for saying that. Because <laughs> <Why? laughs> now everyone's gonna be like, "Oh, naked Chihuahua." Let's tweet at Jacob. Why is your Chihuahua? No, naked? we're going. We're going with fursona rules of does not have to be the color of the real dog. Yeah, yeah of course true. not. If you can if you can Fanciful. dye your hair, why yeah. can't you dye your fur? Yeah, yeah. It's just it's all made up, you know. Yeah, dogs. Dogs aren't real. We made them up. Dogs is made up. They kind of are. They, they were wolves, and we were like, "Not anymore, baby." <laughs> Get over oh, here. Oh, we're going lineless. Ooh. Uh, yeah, I removed a lot of the interior lines or colored them, depending on that's fun the situation. And I then I, that. I like that. I end up doing a thing that I think is fun, where I kind of um, erase out a lot of the exterior lines as well, and have them taper a lot sooner yeah yeah uh which i think is a fun a fun line look it's a fun line look yeah look so i was mostly just playing around because i was having a good time yeah you see me tapering the outer lines there dang that looks so good the way you did that Mm -hmm. nice yeah I, i was digging it it works so well it just it just goes right into it yeah i think it adds almost like a cell shaded kind of look And I, you know, I wanted to make a character that the the youths will relate to, for sure. <laughs> um, and I think all the youths are mostly mad and tired, yeah. <laughs> and the adults too. Yeah, we're all in it together. Woo! It's this is an intergenerational, iconic, <laughs> uh, character. Yeah. And then I do some, uh, just add a little coloring there to warm up sort of the character tones. And then I take the lines completely out of the background. No lines. Yeah. Just decided those were not needed and were distracting. Uh, and then you'll see as I reach the end, I, I hit the make the colors good button. Um, <laughs> I love that like button. <laughs> the last thing I do, because I was like, wow, it's kind of muted. And I wanted it to be brighter, so I hit the I hit the make the colors good button as we go. Um, <laughs> Ooh. I added a little texture to some of the some of the things there. Yeah. Realized I forgot to color in the eyeball. As you do. Yeah. As you do. Uh, then we're gonna hit some levels and hit some color balance. Hit the make the colors good button. <laughs> And I felt like that made it really bright and poppy, which I liked. Yeah. Yeah. And that's it. It's done. Wow. That's great. This is the new Taco Bell mascot. She's sick of it. (laughs) She doesn't like that she was used against her will to perpetuate stereotypes. But unfortunately, she is still the Taco Bell mascot, I guess. <laughs> she, is still, she is still helping them sell tacos. But now it's on her accord. Yeah, she's making the bank now. It's a power move. <laughs> the moral is you can never truly escape capitalism. <laughs> That's the moral of this episode of The Drop yep. Show. <laughs> Yay. I hope everyone enjoys watching. <laughs> All right, Karina, <laughs> you're up next. What what you do? So I was tasked with doing the obvious choice. So I did Ronald McDonald. And I was like, cool. I'll just like make him hot. And then I procrastinated. <laughs> and then I was paralyzed with indecision about my concept. So this one kind of got away from me. And I did it really fast. I finished it about... Um, an hour and a half ago as of recording time. (laughs) So yeah. (laughs) Excited to see how this went. Yeah, let's get into it. (laughs) Three, two, one, go. So I think the main flaw with Ronald McDonald is that he's a clown. But, (laughs) But like, that's good because, you know, he's like a mascot for children and I guess kids like clowns. I never did, but whatever. So... What I came up with is a little bit more akin to what Jacob did of less of a redesign and more of like a conceptual rebranding. So I wanted to do like 
Ronald Mc the normal man. And um, so my idea here <laughs> is that <laughs> um, <laughs> uh, he works as the mascot by day, and then he also works in corporate, and <laughs> and all of the mascots are just real people who are oh. also mascots. <laughs> Yes. <laughs> Grimace. And, and Grimace, uh, yeah, Grimace is already perfect, so I didn't change him. Oh. So this is just Ronald, the normal guy. And then he puts on the clown makeup and becomes Ronald McDonald, like, as, like, when he needs to be. <laughs> when he needs he to also, be. When like, the world needs to Yeah, him. then he also, like, works in the office <laughs> at McDonald Corp. <laughs> oh, I love it. He has piercings because I was discussing this with my... BFF Lauren, and mm. she requested piercings because I pointed out that you don't typically see Ronald McDonald's ears, which I oh. think is a big factor in why he doesn't have a lot of sex appeal. So I wanted his <laughs> ears to show <laughs> more holes. And, um, <laughs> and Lauren said I should give him piercings. So I did. Yeah, he has to cover his piercings with his yeah, big clown it makes hair. Sense. His helmet of hair. <laughs> yeah. Oh my God, I love this idea. It's like an Aggretsuko <laughs> of. Yeah, that's what I had in mind. It's like a workplace comedy sitcom situation. It's like him and Birdie the Bird and the Hamboigla and <laughs> Grimace, who's perfect. And I didn't change anything about Grimace. So. <laughs> yeah, that's correct. <laughs> like I said, this one got away from me. I just wasn't sure what I was doing. And I was, I don't know. I, to me, what makes characters hot is that they have a lot of personality mm -hmm. and they have like duality. And ears. So his, yeah, and ears. <laughs> so um, I just wanted to characterize him out <laughs> and give him more traits so that he seems like a more complete human being instead of just a clown. <laughs> yeah. And I was in a hurry, so I just had to go with whatever idea I had. And that oh, was Lord. it. But it's a good and, idea. <laughs> yeah. Um, I wanted him to have like, his, yeah, his makeup's kind of smudged because he's in like a hurry all the time. <laughs> and maybe that like, I, I like to think that like he's really busy and doesn't have time to date and maybe people find him kind of intimidating because he always has like this red smudge on his face and people think it's like blood, but it's actually just his clown makeup. <laughs> this just, I, I just ended up writing extensive Ronald McDonald fanfic for this speech, draw. Whoops. so you're welcome, <laughs> America. <laughs> Is there Ronald X Grimace? Yeah, fanfic. of course. Probably. There is. I've only read Ronald X Jollibee, so uh, I okay. can't tell you. <laughs> I mean, haven't you seen like the you know what's the matter, Ronald Coon? Are you craving my McNuggies? <laughs> oh image? right. Yeah. Haven't you seen it? Maybe that's like who he ends up finding love with in this because they're in the same situation and they understand each other so well. I don't know. I'll leave that up to the viewers. I should stop thinking about it. No, he, tired. he and Grimace have a purely sexual relationship. <laughs> it's not based on love. It's based on lust. Yeah. So that also complicates things. I'm pretty sure that uh, when Caldwell and I did our What Should We Draw podcast, we did at least one comic about Ronald and Grimace uh, <laughs> being in a relationship. Good. At least one. <laughs> At least one. But yeah, and he has his little outfit in his like, dry cleaning bag or whatever clothing bag. <laughs> and I, t I just ended up making another anime pitch, I think. Like, this is his slice of life story. So mm. I made it look kind of like a promo poster. And these are like the supporting characters. <laughs> I think you. Oh, is that Hamburglar? <laughs> yeah. With the emo hair? Yeah. Wow. <laughs> I think you unintentionally did some very like Hori Mia feeling art in this. Oh. Which, now that we've mentioned it in the episode, you can put it in the tag. <laughs> Yay! Because that is blowing up. It's popular, and it's also about a character who has a lot of piercings and hides them with his long hair. 
They all they all put on costumes except Grimace is just Grimace. Yes. That was really important to me yeah. because I already really like Grimace. So that's just what Grimace looks like. Mm-hmm. Everyone else looks different but Grimace. <laughs> I just, I want to, like, I feel like you've definitely <laughs> succeeded because I want to know more. Yeah. Like, I see this and I want to know. I feel like it's important in marketing to make people really sympathize and be horny for your characters. And the easiest way to do that is to just, like, make them interesting. Grimace with glasses. <laughs> Thank you for this gift. <laughs> <laughs> Professor Grimace. If they came out with, like an adult version of a Happy Meal where every <laughs> every food item you get also comes with a little comic <laughs> about these characters. Drawn by you. Drawn by you. But yeah, so it's just a slice of life of their day to day. This is so much better than I could have hoped for. Yeah. I love Hamburglar. <laughs> <laughs> They're so serious putting on their costumes. Yeah, yeah it's their job. <laughs> They're devoted to the brand. <laughs> oh I love God. this. But yeah, so this was this is my Ronald McDonald fanfic. This is me also trying to make the colors good and also have time to render this video before we record it. <laughs> but yeah. <laughs> so that's my Ronald McDonald fanfic slash redesign. <laughs> Amazing. Like the thing is you've actually <laughs> unknowingly inspired people to start writing <laughs> yeah. fanfic about Ronald McDonald and it's the already there <laughs> fun bunch or whatever they're called yeah yeah I don't know what they're called <laughs> the team but it's meeting. gonna happen it's gonna be this specific <laughs> Chris's Chris, Chris, costume is he just gets naked <laughs> yes <laughs> I didn't even notice that <laughs> <laughs> Grimace is the problematic one. Like if there were a McDonald's group chat phantom, Grimace would be the problematic one yeah. that people still really like. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> it's very so, good. So yeah. This rules. Thank you. <laughs> Amazing job, Karina. It may have been right at the last minute, but Wow, you really pulled it out. Yay, thank you. Uh, okay, Julia, you ready to, to round us out? Yeah. Why don't you tell us about what you did? Well, this was um, during disaster slash before other disaster. It was <laughs> during personal disaster of a hacker getting into all my garbage and before disaster of Burger King <laughs> doing kind of a, a whoopsie doodle. <laughs> They're exceptionally good decision uh, to make some excellent tweets on National Women's Day. <laughs> yeah, I, I did this on Sunday because I was like, I need something to distract me from all of the stress I've been having the past couple of days. <laughs> Let me just knock this out so that Monday will be a little bit easier. And Surely then, nothing will happen Monday. <laughs> oops, Monday rolled around. Uh, so I did Burger King and I... Like I said, I was in a weird headspace during this, but um, I really like, I don't know, let's let's get into it. I redesigned the Burger King. Okay, here we go. Three, two, one, go. So I really like the designs of like 1940s, 1950s <gasps> mascots Ooh. where they're like big shapes, big pleasant shapes. Ah. So I wanted to do that style for the Burger King. Aww. He's so like I, the I opposite did like a, of what he is right now. Yeah. I did like just a, a human man wearing a mask. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. I did like um like a, a back in time. I did a, a few steps back. Do a little retro. A little retro design, which, you know, comes around every now and again. Uh, but I wanted just like a a, a pleasant uh, Burger King. Who's happy to be here? This burger man's not going to say anything sexist. He, he doesn't even know how to use the internet. <laughs> no. <Yeah. laughs> he's just a burger guy. Oh, and he's burger shaped. <laughs> yeah. So I tried to use some burger motifs ah. in this burger man. 
in this in this Burger King, the ruler of burgers would look <laughs> kind of like a burger. He, so so he is the burger and he ruled the burger. He is the burger, he ruled the burger, wow. yes. Wow. Does so he have I, a chin strap beard? Uh looks, looks kind of like. Yeah, well, I wanted one of those ones that like I I fix it a little bit later, but uh for right now it does look like a chin strap beard. I actually go in and I change my line quality um because I like the the little like sleeves, the ruffle sleeves. I like how I I did the lines for those. So I go back in and I change all the lines to be very like tapered. Oh. Um but yeah, I wanted a little spatula scepter. Oh, cool. Is his cape clipped on with sesame seeds? Yeah. Oh. <laughs> it is. I just realized that I didn't do something that I wanted to do in this design, which is that I wanted to make his cloak the uh, the checker pattern of like the wrapper oh. that goes around the burger. But I think I forgot to do that. So whoopsie doodles. You just just pretend that I here. did. It's good enough to say it Yeah. Here. Yeah. Um, but yeah, this is me going in and tapering the lines. I was looking at a lot of 1950s designs. Wow. He's a king. He probably has a couple cloaks. He's just not wearing his checkered one today. Yeah. This is the casual cloak. Yeah, this is the casual one. This is this is him just enjoying the day out in his kingdom of burgers. <laughs> that face when you're enjoying the day. <laughs> <laughs> this is my bad tweet apology cloak. Oh, 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 oh. I'm sorry, everyone. To all in the kingdom. <laughs> Um, I tried to focus on shapes, which is is you know not not really my deal, uh, and also very round because round is friendly shapes for children, so uh, it's appealing towards kids. So I wanted to get that round aesthetic, um, except for the crowns, which are very pointy at the end, but still they're rounded. Well, the lines look great on this. Thank yeah. you. Uh, yeah, I actually did a rare thing of coloring it black at first, or the, the lines black, because I wanted to have that kind of like flat printery feel. Yeah. When I was yeah. putting the colors in. Yeah, like I wanted to, uh, I was picturing this like on, you know, a white like paper bag or something. Totally. Um, I didn't do any shadows because, because of printing limitations. They usually didn't. Um, I want to write like, you know, some fun font here. Kingdom. 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 The kingdom. Welcome to the Burger Kingdom. Julia, this is so legit. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I took this as a design challenge again for- I love it. Like a logo, but- I think that's what we were supposed to do, and you're the only one who did it. For once, you're the only <laughs> one yes! who met the brief. <laughs> I did it. Incredible. Julia did the thing that was asked and none of us did. <laughs> I always have to go against the grain. God damn it. <laughs> you knew. How did you know? Um, we didn't plan this. <laughs> <laughs> so, yeah, this is me trying to figure it out. And then I decided that um, uh, we got to get that SEO in. We got to get that SEO in. We got to hit the trends. Is this Among Us? It's not Among Us. <laughs> well, I said Put it. Put that in the text. <laughs> uh, but when you Google fast food mascots, all you get are either hot versions or creepy <laughs> versions. So here we go. Wait, you did two? Wait, did you? You also made a hot, creepy Burger King? I made a hot, creepy Burger King. Damn. Wow. Did, what a reveal. <laughs> wow. <laughs> this looks like a One Piece character. Yeah, is this um, the guy, the One Piece guy? <laughs> Jolly Roger. <laughs> Jolly Roger. No, it's Goldie Roger. Goldie Roger. <laughs> From Burger King. From Burger King. <laughs> oh, my God. I can't believe you did this. Yeah. Originally, I was going to have it like someone was using this original design as like anti Burger King paraphernalia and the actual Burger King has discovered it <laughs> as sort of like a very creepy turnaround. Um, and then I decided that that felt too much like political messaging. So I just have him holding it 
on his little meat knife. Meat knife. It was meat knife. <laughs> this is this is how he wants people to think of him. Yeah. Because yeah. that way they they underestimate him. They don't see him as the, <laughs> as the threat that he is. Yeah. Yeah. He never wanders in his kingdom all jauntily because he's he's keeping his identity a secret. Yeah, he skulks in the shadows. Julia, you both met the brief and then didn't meet the brief. <laughs> yeah, and then you did what we did. Yeah, you did yeah. both. Yeah. Oh, whoa, what the whoa. F- ketchup. Ketchup? <laughs> ketchup? Yeah. Ke- Ke- Julia, ketchup? Ketchup. 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 <laughs> Cat, cats, cats, baby. Um, this yeah. guy does not know how to eat. <laughs> he does not. He's a messy eater. Yeah, how do you get it on his crown? Well, know. who's Puts gonna correct him? Crown. He uses that as utensils because it's yeah. so sharp. Yeah, he stabs the burger. <laughs> I got my meat knife and I have my fork crown. <laughs> <laughs> well, this is my Burger King. Wow, wow. that terrifying what thing. A roller coaster. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> It had a prestige to it. It had a reveal. <laughs> Thank Amazing. you. Like My I said, God. weird headspace. Wanted to hit that <laughs> that Google search results. Here you go. Here is the Burger King and the Burger King. Damn. Welcome to the kingdom <laughs> of the Burger King, y'all. Be careful. <laughs> Be <It's> very <laughs> careful. <laughs> He's going to get into your ketchup. <laughs> Well, this was debatably our fast food mascot redesigns. <laughs> yeah. Yes. I did it. Maybe instead we just m- mainly told stories about the characters <laughs> from fast food. Listen, I did a redesign. First drawing, redesign. I yeah. did the brief. Yes. It's, That's true. You're correct. <laughs> yep. But either way, it was fun and I enjoyed it. And I hope you all enjoyed it too. And if you did, you can prove it. You can prove your enjoyment by going to <laughs> patreon.com slash droppy and, and subscribing over there. And if you don't want to do that, you can prove your enjoyment by clicking like and subscribe on this here video right here on youtube.com. That's that's it. <laughs> we're, we're sorry. That's it. We're sorry. 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 <laughs>